Have you experienced a loss in your life? What are the circumstances of your loss? One of the most challenging aspects of losing a loved one uh, is not only the loss of them, their physical presence in our life, the devastation of, of the reality of losing someone you love, Sometimes it's the circumstances that surround the death uh, that really impact the journey in a very powerful way. Is your, was it an expected loss, a uh, long-term illness, or was it a sudden loss? Boom, out of the blue, you had no idea. That alone impacts the journey in two different directions. In 1984, uh, my twin sister and her two sons, um, seven and nine, uh, were killed in a car accident. It was sudden death. Uh, I had no preparation. I was at a party having a bunch of drinks and laughing, and my sister shows up and said, Sandy and the boys were killed. And I just, I went into shock immediately. Of course, I didn't believe it. Uh, so I said, you better have some coffee. So I'm drinking coffee. Then I had another beer. Then I had another coffee. Then I had another beer. I was so discombobulated, I couldn't even think. It, the, 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 my twin sister uh, and her two sons were gone. I, I, I couldn't comprehend that. Um, and there was no coffins at the funeral. Uh, it was a very religious service. Uh, and it was very, it was just so hard to... Uh, to comprehend it all because there was no preparation. Uh, and, but on the other side, when my son, now my son was diagnosed with cancer a year or so after my sister was killed. And there, I, now we're faced with reality. I remember getting that, when we went to the hospital, the children said he has an inoperable brain tumor, but or it's operable, but it's non-curable. That our whole life changed right then and there, February 23rd, uh, 1985, that everything changed for us to try to save our son. Uh, then eventually, 18 months later, when he did die, uh, did that pre-grieving, did that anticipatory grief prepare us for his death? Absolutely not! That is the biggest BS out there, that anticipatory grief will somehow uh, uh, soften the grief. It takes away the surprise, maybe, but it does not take away the pain of losing I, I had all the preparation. I knew he was going to die, I, I, even though, but I never gave up hope that we would have a miracle. So I look, I've had both those losses. I see that I see the difference in the circumstance and how it affected me. And we'll go into that much more in detail as we talk about long-term illness. And then we talk about sudden death because in sudden death, there's so many different uh, avenues for sudden death. We can have a, a car accident, an accident. Um, and who's at fault? Uh, was your loved one at fault? Was someone else at fault? Did someone hit them? Was it what all the circumstances surrounding that? Were they murdered? Do you know someone? Were they abducted? Were they tortured? All these impact the journey of it's lost by suicide. That impacts the journey in a whole different way. It was uh, from overdose, uh, from risky behavior, uh, it was sudden death serving the military. Uh, there's so many different ways that sudden death uh, can, can take us. In, in infant loss, uh, a child, a miscarriage, a child uh, dies at birth, um, a child dies by SIDS, uh, a young person dies by SAD, sudden infant death syndrome on a football field, and uh, undiagnosed long QT syndrome in their heart, and, uh, and that's another whole uh, uh, we're going to talk about Parent Heart Watch and, and how to help your children. And let's push this country to get uh, testing done for uh, athletes uh, in high school, in junior high, uh, to look for long QT syndrome, to prevent um, sudden adult, sad, sudden adult death syndrome. Uh, there's, so there's, all those can impact the journey. Uh, 
an ambiguous death, like in Minnesota, um, when we had the, the Jason Wetter, Wetterling uh, was abducted two years after my son died. And I always felt so horrible for the Wetterlings that uh, I knew my son was dead and I was suffering with that loss, but they did not know. They suffered with his missing me, but they did not know uh, of the finality of it. So this just this year, uh, they found out they lost their son. That he went, they discovered the murderer. Uh, he's now uh, going to be in, in prison, and um, and that gave them some vindication that he had been been discovered. But also, they found out the grisly details uh, that he admitted uh, during the trial, uh, and that's another. They did not know that before. Now they know how he died and what happened when he died, and they're they're suffering the, the trauma of of knowing what he went through, and they're suffering the trauma of knowing that. That the, the hope that he is still alive somewhere is gone. So did 30 years of, of, of ambiguous loss prepare them for the loss, for the reality of the loss of their son, Jacob? No, it did not. They're starting at square one 30 years later. So every journey is different, you all. Every journey, every circumstance. So know that you are unique. So your loss is unique, as unique as a snowflake. Find out more about it. Help yourself. Use body, mind, soul, and spirit to help you work through your grief. You have everything you need to get through this journey. And if you can't find it, enlist the help of someone to help you find it. Look for someone that you see that shines by example. Ask them what, what works for them. And they'll probably tell you, it's their heart light. So learn how to turn your heart light on. Let it shine for all to see.